to Dice Junkies. I'm Xenodamus. I'm here with Q. And uh, on Skype, we have Blood Axe. All right, let's get this started. We've we've got uh, some interesting topics to talk about today, but we're going to start off with uh, some uh, Star Wars, uh, not Mandalorian news. Uh, <laughs> now, just an uh, interesting tidbit. Somebody has started a Star Wars, not of the Old Republic petition in hopes to see a remake as the 20th anniversary comes near. Uh, which uh, the 20th anniversary of Knights of the Republic will be 2023. Uh, so They're a little ahead of the game, but I love the idea. Well, I mean, if it comes down to development and remake, 2023 is a reasonable uh, uh, request. Maybe a little behind, honestly, depending on what level of remake you do. I mean, if they just did a solid engine and graphics upgrade, but actually do like go in and do some tweaking with some of the other engines they have... Man, they could get that out in a year. Easy. Because, I mean, it's a fully well, remake. Well, it says game. remake, not... Not a remaster, it's a remake, yeah. <sighs> I still think they could do it pretty quick. If they put their, their their actual, like, you know, effort into it. But, I mean, that's also just because I don't want to wait three years. So, or is it two years at this point, I guess. Well, no, they put it out at the end of the year, so three. If they yeah. say 2023, it'll be... November or December, just to spite us, because I've never heard them mention a year of a game release and it not be the <laughs> end of that dang year. Like, you always assume the maximum amount of time. But, dude, I'd buy it. Well, after, well, not pre order, though. We know our golden <laughs> rule. We never pre order. Hell, I bought Code Tour 1 a couple of weeks mm-hmm. ago for, <laughs> and I've been playing it. Well, now that it's, I think you can play it now on our Game Pass, though, because uh, I think we got all the EA. Like, we, is Kotar not on there? I could have sworn I saw it. No, KOTOR is not part of uh, the EA Pass. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, it's worth buying. You can get on Steam pretty cheap. And then you can mod That's, the hell out of it. The, I don't think EA even owns KOTOR because they didn't even develop it. I'm going to go they look just, and they see. They have the license to make new games, they, but they don't own the uh, the older content. I'm going to go see if anybody's put out any, like, like uh, you know, anything on Nexus, any mods that update it. Because, you know, people do that. There's a whole mod out there where they're taking, uh, what is it, uh... New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas, and put it on the Fallout 4 engine. It's been looking pretty cool. Somebody did a Fallout 3, so, like, maybe somebody will, re- like, will go do KOTOR since apparently EA doesn't want that money. You know, EA, man, they don't want to make money legitimately. They only want to make it through, like, uh Well, you know, nobody nobody plays single-player games anymore. I mean, if you could loot box it. Yeah, yeah, nobody plays single but It isn't like the game of the year, even though I hate Last of Us 2, is a single-player game and is almost always... A single player game. Now yeah. that I think about it, I think it's almost always been a single player game. It 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 it, it often often. I said almost. Yeah. Like most of the single like most of the games years I can think of were single player. So yeah, like uh like usually multiplayer games only win in the MMO category or something. They usually don't win game of the year. Oh, here you go. Yeah, we can grab a little. Well, twenty twenty, we know it's Last of Us. Like, it, there's no hope for that. But it's still a single player game, so at least they gave me that. I guess you're getting played more, really, by Last of Us, but it's still single player. Yeah, God of War, Batman, Arkham Asylum. Right, so let's see here. Since since we're getting off topic, we might as well go 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 full in here. All Wait, right, we so. have a topic. <laughs> <laughs> um, 2010 was Batman Arkham Asylum single player. Um, Mass Effect two mostly single player. mostly single player. Yeah. Uh, Portal 2, mostly, mostly single, single player. player. Uh, Dishonored, single, single player. player. Uh, Last of Us, Last single of Us, single player. Oh, Destiny, multiplayer. Oh, here's a multiplayer. Fallout 4, Fallout 4 single, player. single player. Uncharted 4, single, single player. player. What reigns of Edith Finch is single player. All right. God, God of War, War single, single player. player. So, yeah, one out of the last ten games. games. But nobody plays them. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Nobody plays single player anymore. You can't make money off a of single player. You can only make the greatest game of the entire year. That's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, I want to point out that Destiny. Wait a minute. Destiny may have been. No, no. Destiny is a uh, Bungie. Yeah. So, yeah. Though they were tied to EA for a while. I will say that. But that only makes EA look stupid because that means for a while they were associated with, you know, that game, and then they pulled out because they thought Destiny wasn't going to do anything. Well, I ain't going to lie. Destiny 2. I think they pulled bad. out during Destiny 2. Yeah, I can't blame them for that. And yeah. Cyberpunk will definitely pull 2021. 
Like uh, yeah. maybe we'll we'll have to see. Dude. I mean, the thing is, is shut it's, up and take my optimism. It's at the well. No, I'm not. I'm not even saying that it might be a bad game. What I'm saying is, it's 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 coming in at the end of 2020. You know, so it just barely misses game of the year for 2020. You know, as an option. And then uh, you've got a whole year of games after this, and we just had two new consoles come out. It had to be a surprise so, game, though. There's nothing currently on the list for 2021 that I want to play, really. Like, there's nothing even on my wish list. Out uh, right there's going to be a there's going to be a lot of uh, I think uh, big titles so released in 2021. All right, y'all. I want everybody out there to remember this. He he's saying he believes that 2021 is going to have some big titles hit. We're going to come back and take another look. I mean, look. you got to think. New, two new consoles. Uh-huh. Usually they start slipping them out that first year, some big titles. We'll see. I'm not saying yeah. you're we wrong. We may see another see. God of War before 2021's over. You know, we're going to see the new Spider-Man in 2021. <clears throat> Goddess of War. <sighs> Spider-Gwen. Get it right. You know, we're, we're going to see. <laughs> we, we've already got several titles lined up that uh, could could be there. We'll see. I mean, I'm not even saying you're wrong. I'm curious. I hope you're right. I'm bored. Um, I'm bored out of my mind. I'm tired of modding Fallout 4. Like, <laughs> like I'm eagerly awaiting something else to play. Because once I'm done with Cyberpunk, I'm back on the playing Borderlands 3 Season 2. You know? <laughs> and right now, Arms Race is not enough, man. Get something out there, no, Borderlands. Yeah, that was a small update to me. That didn't feel like that was fully a full release. Like I don't feel like I got my first real DLC yet. They're gonna have to do better than that. Yeah, I, I remember several big games. I don't. Uh, I Ooh, don't Dying Light Two now. could be a good one because Dying Light One was fun. I liked Dying Light. I will admit that I would. I'm curious what the second one's gonna be like because that was a good zombie game and it was multiplayer. Me and mm-hmm. Blood Axe will probably show you that. Blood Axe, Dying Light 2 is multiplayer. You know what time it is. That's right. You need to watch Actually, you get eaten by that zombies. Play, um, that Dead Island again. We wouldn't be bad to straighten that one either. Yeah, yeah. Well, I told you, yeah, we can get it. Yeah. You know me. I'm going to play my um, rapper. Big, big bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, we got we got a... Uh, we got a... Uh, well, that's that's like collector's edition, blah blah blah. Yeah. Look, look, look! You're gonna right. have to wait. Bravely to Default too. That I think that one may it's not gonna make game of the year, good. man. I know, I know. Nothing on Switch makes game of the year. Unfortunately, I know. Um, <laughs> that's more a problem with Nintendo. They make great games and make a lot of money. They don't make game of the year. Well, yeah. Breath of the Wild. No, Breath of the Wild wasn't on there actually. Oh, there is shot. supposed to be a new Zelda coming out uh, this year. Yeah, it's uh, going to be uh, right? second Hyrule Warriors, though. So I don't think it's going to make game of the year. The Hyrule, the dead, the uh, Destiny Warrior style games never make game of the year. Yeah. Ooh, now another GT. No, that's just well, yeah. that's just an update to GT. That's just though. updating for Xbox and PS Five. Um, I mean, unless uh, Wukong Black. Now Myth the Ghostwire Tokyo could be. That's 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 a that's that's one that could be really good for twenty twenty. But it says TBC. Will it really make it? Uh, that, it's I also mean, it got that special. exclusivity problem. Yeah. Um. It's only coming out on PC and PlayStation. They're not even going to put it out on Xbox. I mean, technically, if it comes out on PC, it's on Xbox. <laughs> and Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite supposed to come out. Uh, that what? that could get us there. <laughs> I love Halo, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Bungie came back to write it, I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, we'll see. We'll Cut see. This off, man. Well, these right. people know I got better things to do. Let's uh, let's get <laughs> off that. Let's go on to our next topic. And that's yeah, what were we talking about again? I forgot. Well, we, we weren't stuff. talking about uh, just a petition for uh, for Knights of the Old Republic, but we we also have uh, Cyberpunk uh, twenty seventy seven actually got leaked. Uh, this week, or not leaked, but uh, uh, released accidentally by uh, some of your uh, big, big, big shops, uh, Walmart oh, and Best Buy. That's a sexy shotgun. Oh my god, <laughs> I love shotguns, man. Blood acts to tell you, I'm a shotgun lover. That is a nice looking shotgun. Ooh, damn. But uh, yeah, so uh. Big thing is, is uh, so several people got the game early. They're talking about, you know, it may it, it, it may get released on the ninth instead of the tenth for for some of the 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 PC and stuff. Uh, if nothing else, it's definitely gonna the, they 
I'm they're, getting it Friday, man. Yeah, they're releasing the uh, – so they have a thing where if you're streaming or recording video, they, they may uh, they may block you. you until the 9th at 12 p.m. Uh, CET or uh, 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, they released this to their Twitter, the big the big yellow uh, sign, you know, that they like to do. Hey, let's but, also, like, establish this. We have not watched any leaks. We're very yeah, adamant no. about it. We're not pre-ordering, and we're not, like, for me, like, like my boy uh, Zeno is probably going to grab it Thursday. I may grab it Thursday evening. Well, I'll probably grab it Wednesday. I mean, I will pre-order, but I'm only going to pre-order it, like, an hour or two before, just so I can have it installed and ready. I'm um, planning to grab it probably Friday or maybe I'm debating on where I'm pre- getting it from, though, because I'm thinking about getting it from GOG. Because with GOG, you don't have to have uh, you could you can even be offline and play and you can't do that if you get it on Xbox Store, um, or Microsoft, I guess in this case, store or Steam or yeah. Well, also GOG is directly owned by CD Projekt Red, so they get the most money out of it if you get it from GOG. You're oh, supporting you know what? The company uh, my decision will be based on what you tell me then, because you're uh, getting it before me. Because I mean, I still have a day job, and I know if I download yeah. it Thursday. I might as well just tell my boss you're getting nothing out of me. Yeah, Friday, I went ahead and put in for Thursday and Friday off. Um, I may ask. I, I haven't. Uh, I haven't got confirmation from my from my boss yet. But I mean, normally there there shouldn't be any problem there. So I may go for Friday because it's going to be tempting. But I really yeah. want you to play. And and just to be sure, because <laughs> I still am just enough gun shy that you might call me up and try to stop me, be like, "Don't, it's trash." Uh, I do no. like they 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 threw in a 2020 jab there at the end because they were like after after this date, you know, uh, after that date. However, we would love it if you'd stream everything like there's no tomorrow. And then they say <laughs> it's 2020. Who knows? Maybe there isn't. <laughs> I think we'll just barely make it into 2021 uh, before the apocalypse. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Be a gotcha. Oh, look, you made it into 2021. Ah. <laughs> Little did you know we were on this calendar, <laughs> yeah. so the apocalypse is five days later. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Y2K when everything didn't end. People said, well, you got the wrong calendar, and they kept pushing Y2K yeah, yeah, further yeah. out. And finally, about summer, people said, it ain't happening, man. Come on. <laughs> Well, I mean, well, there's, there's, there was two different Y two Ks too. There was all the end of the universe Y two K thing. Then there was the literal, uh, you know, the the calendar swapping over. It was because uh, people didn't program in. Uh, well, it was but it was they, they, they only did. programmed in two changeable dates, you know, because the nineteen was static. It was hard coded, so a lot of systems screwed up because I don't think when it the just cal- rolled over to 1900. I don't know why it was going to just, yeah, no, that everything. was the thing. It was going to roll over to 1900 and because a lot of the bank systems and stuff like that were on it, it was going to screw <laughs> up the, uh, no, that was the whole fear with that. But I mean, they got people together. They fixed it. It's no big deal. Um, come on, putting coders on a crunch, you get stuff done, you know, that's what EA and apparently <laughs> CD Projekt Red, if uh, you're supposed to believe uh, Jim Sterling, do. Yeah, I know. That's, that's why I threw that in there. It was, it was a. It oh, was Jimmy's a nice been waging jam, a one man you know. campaign against everybody. Good luck with that fella. <laughs> hey, I watch his videos. I support it my own way, lazily, by just clicking on videos. Oh. All righty. Let's, uh, let's get a random encounter in here. Boy. By the way, while he's doing that, for those of you that don't know, there's clearly a Miami Dolphins game on. You can always tell by just looking at Blood Axe. Because if there's a game, he's wearing those colors. (coughs) Mm. All right, let's see here. Got a three. Time to think. Uh Uh, Why is Davy Jones' locker, or why is it Davy Jones' locker when Will Turner replaced him? Uh. <laughs> That's uh, because it's not Will Turner's locker. It's yeah, Davy Jones' locker. Uh, yeah. He created the law. It's his locker, man. Just because you took over the ship doesn't mean you get to take all his stuff. Let the man keep his locker. Yeah. Uh, he didn't he didn't pay for the uh the 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 uh in in ship purchase of a new name tag. Plus, that uh, was, plus, if you want to get technical, you know, that locker was a gift from the goddess of the sea when he was when Davy Jones and her were in a relationship. 
And you don't get to inherit something like that, man. That's wrong. It's like yeah, she gave that to Davy Jones as a side of their affection. What kind of weirdo goes like, I'm taking that, yeah, in my locker now. And he also, Will's got his own wife, so that would have definitely been problematic. Like, taking other people's Valentine's Day gifts just because you bought their house is weird. Hey, man, hey, man, or you got their job. Hey, I got your job. I get to keep all the Valentine's Day gifts you got on your desk. Would I get your job? No. No, yeah, man. I mean, it's my desk. I, I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not following you there, man. That would be creepy. Plus, like, a relationship with the goddess of the sea is questionable at best. You may want to reconsider. <laughs> like, did David Jones look like that went well for him with all the tentacle face? Well, like, you know. You know what? If Will gets the tentacles on his face, then he can have a locker. There. Now. You know, you got to go all in if you want to have a locker. That comes with the locker. You gotta oh, have man. tentacle face. I, I I I've had so many weird mental images flash through my head on on that wording you got there. Uh, I meant all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure that Davy Jones has his own Rule sixty three and four. Unfortunately, I was gonna, I couldn't remember which one, and I said he's got Rule thirty four. Rule thirty four. No, probably also sixty three or sixty four. Whatever that is, I'm sure I he's on that. there. One of them's gender <laughs> swap, and I can definitely see that. I'm uh, sad I can see that, but I can't. <laughs> My head hurts. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's uh let the man keep his locker. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean I like I said, I, I'm I'm gonna go with he didn't make the end game purchase to change the name. Um <laughs> Yeah, yeah. If you if you buy the cosmetic upgrade where you can change the locker's name, there you go. Um, it, it's it's something that I've always kind of joked with my wife with because a lot of times we'll watch movies, and I'll ask her some kind of question about as far as logically how does this work or you know how do they find this weapon which made no sense or how do they find a solution to this problem without having any knowledge of the situation. And it's one of those things like, why don't they call it Davy Jones's locker when it's not, when he's dead? Is now Will Turner's uh, uh, on the um, uh, is, 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 is taking his place? And she's like, just watch the movie. <laughs> also, I've got one more point. If you remember at the end of the uh, last Pirates of the Caribbean movie, when Will Turner did that, he has a nightmare that Davy Jones walked into his room, bringing in a question if Davy Jones is really gone. So if you want to get yeah. so look, 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 I don't have my glasses to do the nerd. Well, um, actually, <laughs> is Davy Jones really dead? <laughs> Fair point, because, and uh, I don't know if we'll actually get the answer we've, to that we've story. We've lost, you because know. Because they're rebooting it with uh, an all an all film crew, but we'll, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we play. get Harley Quinn, Jack, Jack Sparrow. That's not going to be great. I mean, Birds of Prey was awesome, wasn't it? Maybe she'll get some cocaine, and then she'll be able to shell the ship faster, and... Uh, bubble gum cannons and uh, I just made my stomach hurt. Yeah. Uh, you ever make yourself sick? Alrighty. So uh, next topic, let's talk about Warner brothers sets entire 2021 movie slate to debut on HBO max. Dun, dun, dun. Um, along with the cinemas in uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. So it's going to be, it's going to be released to HBO and, to uh, the cinemas at the same time, which you'll have access to them at least for the first month on HBO Max if you have the subscription for HBO. So, in other words, for theaters, it's just... Uh, I mean, literally. I mean, theaters are not getting any... There's no reason now to pay $10, $15 a person to go to a movie for anything that was coming out for Warner Brothers since the entire movie roster is yeah. going to be essentially free if you have HBO Max. Yeah, the current known movie ro- ro- roster for uh for Warner Brothers is uh The Little Things, Judas and Black Messiah, Tom and Jerry, Godzilla versus Kong, Mortal Kombat, the original or is there a reboot? I'm assuming it's a reboot. Uh, those who wish me dead, the conjuring, the devil made me do it in the Heights space oh, jam, God. a new legacy, You're making a new space jam too. You're going to read all of these. Uh, you? the suicide squad, uh, remi- reminiscence, reminiscence, malignant, 
Dune, which is I as a big one. That one's gonna bring some people to a Yeah, but match. Dune looks pretty bad. Um what I've seen of it so far. But still there's been a lot of out. controversy on it. No, I mean honestly it's probably gonna get more watches because it's on HBO Max than if it was went to cinema. Yep. The um, Mini Saints of Newark. King Richard. Cry Macho. And Matrix Four. Wait, what? They're yeah. making another Matrix? Yeah, you didn't know. Why would I? I mean, Keanu Reeves, has been, Keanu Reeves has been running around with a shaved head lately. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> I've never um, seen a movie announcement that made me more conflicted. I thought Mortal Kombat threw me for a loop, but then you said Matrix 4, and I'm just like. Uh, <laughs> even though Neo's dead, yeah, imagine that. Uh, is he? I'll be honest, he's I don't a, even remember a, the second and third no, Matrix. No, he's alive in the Matrix, apparently. That's the only way they could do that is he's now a, uh, a, a program. I, I remember the third one so was so bad that I blocked it out of my memory. It was bad. He's uh, forced Jesus. I mean, he was <laughs> net Jesus. Anyway, don't worry, he won't be the one. It will now be a woman. And since they've, they've worn out the black trope, they'll probably go with um, Indian? I think Indian. Indian woman, just to spice it up. They've done I, Latino and black Don't look at me, man. Uh, like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not playing that game. Um, They're going to get that, what's it, Lindsay Singh? Yeah, she's great. They get her. There you go. She's the new, she's the chosen one. <laughs> there is no spooning. No, man, I think this is pretty cool, though. I mean, I I, I don't like going to cinemas anyway, and I already have an HBO Max that's subscription. The, that's so. the only reason you think that's cool. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like, I mean, it is cool we can drink while we watch it. I will watch some of these movies I wasn't interested in watching. Like, I watch Matrix 4 with some crown. Well, I mean, dude, you know, we're, like, we're talking about watching Wonder Woman uh, that comes out this month. We're also drinking because, when we watch that. <laughs> because it's not going to be in theaters. It's, or it's going to be in theaters, but it's also going to be on HBO Max. Yeah. Because we weren't going to go to theaters to watch it true um so i mean this could get some movies that people and that's the other thing if i didn't think a movie was going to be that great i might still watch it on hbo max you know but i wouldn't have gone to the theaters to watch it oh you can sit down if you don't like it you can turn it off like you don't lose anything if you Mm -hmm. just go like oh that sucked i mean didn't you try to get through suicide squad and like you well, no, I tried to get through Birds of Prey. <laughs> I'm sorry, Birds of Prey, and you were able to just go, oh, wait, I don't have to keep hurting. Yeah, Stop. yeah, I, I I couldn't finish it. Same you thing, lost no money yeah. doing that. Same thing with the Joker. Like, I really thought I was going to enjoy the Joker. I, 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 Slow I couldn't, burn. I couldn't Slow do it. Slow burn. Yeah. Um, but anyway, and that's that, that. Once again, that's the nice thing. You can either turn it off or drink more. Or fast forward <laughs> to the good parts. <laughs> yeah. You can uh, skip that whole first part of the Joker and just go like, I see the makeup. There, there, stop, stop, yeah. stop. He's in the makeup. Look, right here. Look, he, <laughs> watch the, 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 the scene where he's dancing down the, down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> there by the it way, is. I think it's a good movie, but it is a movie where you have to be in the mood to sit yeah. there for a while. Well, no, here's the thing. I'm, I'm bad about multitasking, so I was playing a video game, and I threw it up there. And it just didn't work, you know. It was one of those things where it's like, no, mm-mm. you need something a little more actiony and stuff. And that's why I thought, okay, well, Birds of Prey, it may suck, but it should be actiony. Not really. Uh, <laughs> Action comes in many different flavors, and one of those flavors is turd. Like, uh, so yeah, no. Uh, but anyway, no. I, 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 for me, this is gonna be good. For Warner Brothers, it may be really I bad. I call it the Warner Brothers death now, because this means that Warner Brothers is basically out of, like, the real movie business, and they're basically now just a content creator for HBO mm-hmm. Max. And that doesn't pay well, so I've already heard rumors that there's going to be another round of firings at Warner. And y'all know I'm spiteful. I can't feel bad for Warner, because while I'm not normally allowed to talk about it, let's just say some of the decisions they made around uh, several franchises and movies have left me going, you get what you deserve, including decisions like Aquaman 2 and possible spinoffs and other, and, uh, you know. Well, no, I mean, Warner yeah. Brothers, I mean, I mean, look, the, look, at, look at the ratings, them. look at the ratings in the show, show you know, the, 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 the numbers for the releases. They're obviously not doing what's needed to be done. Well, um, you know what you should do in a time like that? Get rid of your biggest drawing stars. That's a good idea. 
because people like watching two bit like replacements, man. That's how you get it going. All righty. So anyway, <laughs> dumbasses. Let's see. let's see. Let's talk about uh. Well, let's get off of Warner Brothers and talk about. Let's uh, see if we can get Blood Axe's uh, attention back. Black Panther. There, yeah. Blood Axe. You like Black Panther, right? <laughs> I watched it. Uh, Black Panther, Latia Wright. Leticia. Leticia Wright. Uh, Aren't you glad I'm here? I am. I am. <laughs> Questions COVID-19 vaccine Twitter explodes. So basically she shared a video uh, that was entitled COVID-19 vaccine. Should we take it? Uh, please don't block me when I put this on Google. I'm not saying this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the thing about this is it started before this with a lot of religious uh, tweets for her because she is a Christian mm -hmm. and she, well, like most people on Twitter, expresses her opinions. She then not she didn't even say that she linked a video to somebody that mm -hmm. unfortunately is supposedly kind of out there with the theories. Kind yeah, of, I mean, I haven't watched the video, so I don't know for sure. But that's yeah. what people are saying. I don't know. But from, see, from none the, of that really matters. From the what. description of the, the from the description of the video, it seemed a bit out there. Just... Now, now the thing is that I don't really care what she's saying because my whole thing I found amusing was this famous line where they basically tell her that she should keep her mouth shut, and I found this interesting that in this time when the same people that were like, finally, a black female lead, this is good for women and black people, and hey, shut up, we don't want to hear from you, you shut up and let us save you, and I'm just like, wow. Telling the black woman to shut up because you don't want to hear what she has to say. Yeah. That is really interesting that the mindscape that these people have because this just shows to me that they didn't really care about her. They mm -hmm. didn't really, because they'd have known this about her. They'd have known her opinions. They'd have known where she was, but they clearly didn't. They just supported her because they saw a black woman and went, look at me. I'm on the right side of history. I support her because she's a black woman. Then they actually went and got to hear her opinions and went, Shut up. Cancel her. And I'm just like, oh. Yeah. It's so shallow and empty. All these, like, the signaling is just, there's no real intent or care behind it. They clearly knew nothing about her when they did this. And this is why it's exploded in their face. And now they're saying cancer. Because if they'd have done a little bit of research, it's always been there. Her Twitter account didn't change in the last month. You can go back and see for a long time where she stood, but you didn't support her as well, a person. The thing is, you is supported she, her as a color she, and a gender. She hit the current, the current hot button, and that's my thing, man. I, I mean, look, I don't agree with everything that was said in this. Uh, you know, uh, you know about no, no, no. I mean, like a lot of the stuff she tweeted, I'm like, Ooh. you know, she tweets and stuff <laughs> like that. But questioning something should never be. Something you go and you try to cancel somebody over, you know. Asking questions is but usually she, she a good thing. Question it though. What's that? But, but she she didn't question it. She she, she just was, linked a video. If she had worded it differently to where she was questioning validity, then that would have been one thing. But she didn't even question it. She goes here. This is what's going on with the virus and the vaccination, and you shouldn't get it. Well, so, but, but but hold on. I, now, I'm going to stop I, both I, of you I, though because I think we're getting off because. I don't care how she feels about COVID, and neither yeah. should they. But if you do care, let me just finish this thought. You can say whatever you want. But if you do care, if you do care, then you should have been familiar with a person before you champion and slung and waved their flag. To me, the biggest offense here is that clearly they want you to think like they think, but they're literally so half-assing at it that they'll support somebody without knowing anything about them, then turn around and pull this crap when they say cancel them. To me, whether you agree with Letitia Wright or not, the biggest offense is that you were all up in her shit, happy to have her say, yeah, 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 her, 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 and you knew nothing about her. And now you want to cancel her. Look, do you care about having black women in roles or not? What's more important to you? You need to freaking actually stand for something. Whatever you believe in, F and stand by it. If you're for women, be for women. If you're more concerned about if they follow your same mindset on Twitter, then stop raising the flag for people and saying, oh, yeah, just do this without even checking. Because it makes me think that you didn't care about either. 
you clearly didn't really care about somebody's opinions on COVID vaccines because you didn't do any research or check in before you sat up there and decided to support her. So you don't care about anything. You don't really care about either. And that, to me, makes me not respect you. I don't care if you feel differently from me. You have the right. But whatever it is, effing believe in it, man. Just be about it or not about it. The, the emptiness kills me. I'm sorry, Blast. Let's get out. It's that empty. You don't really care about either. Because if you really cared, mm-hmm. you would have checked before you. I'm not going to go and go, I love this actress. I, I, I support her fully without knowing what she's about. I wouldn't do that because I've got opinions. Mm-hmm. And I might be like, well, what if she's like got a weird set of opinions? Let me go look this person up. That's why I'm not a fan of nearly any celebrity because I haven't done my homework on them. And yeah. I'm not dumb enough to support somebody when I don't know what they think. Right, I mean, done. look, looking at looking at her uh, at what this article says now, her Twitter account has been removed or deleted. She deleted it herself. She it says, so I don't know the exact line of tweets, uh, but it didn't. I, I didn't see anywhere where she said you should not take this. You should not do this. Now, the video itself, from yeah, what I understand, yeah, yeah. says some <laughs> things. Uh, but she retweeted a video that basically said, should we? And she, she asked the question of, should we take the vaccine or are you going to take the vaccine? I didn't see where she said she wasn't or, or you shouldn't. Um, on top of that, she did come back and say, not my intention to make anyone upset, nor am I saying don't take it. I'm just concerned about what's in it. That's all. Isn't that a fair question uh, to ask? Apparently to some I also know. listen to doctors. Some got their videos taken down. I listen to both sides. If you don't conform to popular questions, but ask questions and think for yourself, you get canceled. Um, so it, to me, it sounds like she was questioning stuff. She is a younger actress for one. Oh so yeah. She probably yeah, is I mean, also impressionable. I could probably be her dad. You know? <laughs> um, and, and my thing is, is whenever you attack anybody for any opinion, no matter how blatantly wrong the, the, the information they're taking their opinion from is, why are we canceling people? I mean, I'm still, I'm still a discussion person. Like if I if I talk to somebody and they say something that's just out there, I want to ask them why do you think that you know what, and and when it comes to celebrities and stuff, you shouldn't be getting your uh, your your <laughs> advice from people who are not even in your world. Come on, dude, they don't have they don't understand anything. I mean, they're in a bubble just like uh, many of us are in bubbles of different so- types. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're not in the same bubble as you, so they don't understand you. <laughs> I mean, Hollywood's its own effing bubble. Yeah, that's what craziness. I mean. So, and, and that's what I agree with you completely. Blood Axe, you think you had something to say? I don't want. I cut you off earlier. <laughs> it's fine, uh, but no, actually, I think you know, both y'all were kind of going around the the, the same uh, bush. I was beaten with a stick. Is I really don't think celebrities should use their platform for anything political like this. Uh, because you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like Christopher Pratt, you know, uh, uh, or uh, with anyone else that either will or will not do what you say, even your silence on not following something or supporting something is going to get you reamed. I think celebrities should pick causes and stick to those causes, but anything political like this, you know, I'm going to talk about my work, talk about my art, and go that route as a, and be completely agnostic about it as opposed to throwing it out there because the only thing you do is stir up hate. Mm-hmm. And we've got a well too much hate going on right now than just keep generating more of it. Yeah, um, and that, that's what you two are doing. Y'all making a lot of sense because y'all are coming at it from a rational point of view. I'm trying to actually reach these people, what have I say, but of like going even in them and going like, look, if you are the kind of person that has this problem that they have to think like you, at least friggin' do it. Go look. Because you do know that she got canceled before this. See, I know something that y'all aren't catching. This article is about the most recent. They wanted to cancel her before this happened just because she had Christian tweets. So, and if you didn't even know she was a Christian and she's been tweeting that for a long time, that means you literally were championing somebody and you never read a single one of their tweets. And that wouldn't bother me because I don't have to read your tweets to decide if I think you're good at a role. But apparently they do. And it's like, if that matters to you, then why aren't you doing your homework? That's the kills me is you're not even doing the homework to be 
blue check champion of the righteous. You're not even doing the work. You're half-assing it, you lazy son of a gun. Like, come on, get bout it, all right? I'm not saying you're wrong to be woke. Just put the work in. <laughs> Show some work ethic. <laughs> there you go. Show some work ethic, you goddamn woke bastards. You're going to be a social justice warrior. All righty, so well, let's, uh, well, let's get a random warrior, encounters. Uh... Warrior is in the damn title. Social justice warrior, not social justice fat ass. Like, get off your butt. It's not a social justice worker. That's a completely did. Yeah, yeah do some work, work, you lazy son of a gun. Uh, uh, do roll, work. Roll a die and see if you feel better, Q. Back in my day, we used to march <laughs> and do our homework. Put on a tie and a suit. Roll. <laughs> these kids these days, they don't even know how to be woke. There you go. I got you. You happy now? Let's change the subject, Zeno. Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, seeing those filthy animals, what is your favorite product from pigs? Uh, bacon. They, they, I mean, that's the, that is wonderful. That's a great question, uh, uh, Blood Axe, because bacon. <laughs> as much as I love bacon, my answer is filthy because I'm a chitlins man. Yeah. Chitterlins, if you say it that way, but I'm, I'm, I'm south. Chitlins. On some bread with some hot sauce. I mean, bacon mm. Bacon makes so much. Now, don't be one of those crazy people who puts bacon in cookies, though. I don't know what the hell your problem is, but maybe if it's a pot. Bacon does not go with cookies. Are you talking about a, uh, a uh, from five guys, a bacon flavored uh, milkshake? milkshake yeah. Party yeah. That's, a, that's an insult to bacon. Bacon deserves to be on proper, like, bacon's got its own good flavor. Don't mix chocolate and other junk in there. I mean, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of the whole sweet and bacon type thing. Candy I know, bacon I know is you good. like the candy no, no, bacon. Candy and stuff. bacon, but no, that's different from a milkshake. That is very different. I don't different. know. It, it's, it's not that far different i i don't get the whole sweet and bacon it's just i understand it's the whole sweet and salty combo but i mean it's bacon it's so good by itself have you ever had honey baked ham (laughs) it's just an upgrade to honey baked ham to glazed bacon (laughs) but chitlins is my favorite uh pork product like if you give me a choice between bacon and then properly properly made chitlins i got sick a couple days ago because i went and, and went and got some I, I got desperate. I got some pork intestines from a little Asian place, and it was, I got so sick. <laughs> Be careful where you get your chitlins, kids. But, uh, yeah, properly made chitlins are delicious. What about you, Blood Axe? You got one? I do, actually, and I can't find it now. Hog but, uh, Well, I, I can find it, but it, it's, it's already pre-made, pre-packaged in the store. But when I was younger, there was a flea market, and there was this old guy who had this tray set up. And he would make fresh, you pick your own flavor seasoning, pork rinds. He would fry it in front of you. He'd season it in front of you. And a, a hot, fresh pork rind is phenomenal. I will say fresh pork rinds are pretty damn awesome. Um, not changing I, my answer. I'm not a big fan of pork rinds, but I've okay. had them. I've had them fresh. Now and out I, the and, grease, and they're completely yeah. different. They're completely yeah. different. Oh, yeah. It's like fish, man. Rinds. Fish right out Plus, the it's skillet. Great What's that? Plus, they're really good for keto. It's a good snack for keto diets. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm getting hungry. Let's move on. (laughs) My mouth is watering thinking about pork rinds, bacon, and chitlins. Uh, I'm going to get some chitlins. (laughs) I got to find a place that sells chitlins now, man. I got the the hunger. I need some pork and guts, man. All right. So, um, (laughs) Monster Hunter pulled from China cinemas amid backlash over scene considered racially offensive. Um, yeah, I really don't get this scene either. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't necessarily tie it to the, the to the uh, playground nursery rhyme insult thing, but at the same time, it doesn't even make sense. Um, so. One of the uh, one of the actors, Asian a, uh, American Asian rapper, American actor. rapper who um, riffs on 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 a scene with uh, with a, with the, with another person, says, "Look at my knees. What kind of knees are these? Chinese." Um, and I don't even get it. I literally was just like, the biggest problem with this joke is that. Okay, I want to remind you all of one very simple thing. This is going to be a rant. This is one simple thing. Mm-hmm. Every line in a movie is usually one that somebody actually wrote down. Yes. And that's what kills, because I'm like, who wrote that line? 
unless that was, you know, going off script, in which case you slap them and tell them to read the lines correctly. Because, like, I'm looking at it going, like, what context makes this even funny? Now, is it racist? I don't know, but it's stupid. And yeah, that's the yeah. problem to me is that it's stupid. I'm literally going, like, that's not even something Look, a kid I, I, and I have. A, I have a theory for this, and that's the fact that when, when a movie – so – Monster Hunter movie was sort of a slap in the face to the franchise, in my opinion, anyway. So I think at this point, they were just looking for something. I think they were just looking for something. Oh, that's totally why it got pulled from the theaters. Yeah, it was totally (laughs) because of that one line. Was it because the whole thing's a trash fire from the bottom up? So... That that that's my opinion. I I think. What do we uh, find? Three point nine like like rating like. (laughs) uh, I mean, it's. uh, I mean, I I didn't look at like what Rotten Tomatoes has for it or anything. Let's see. I think this movie's so bad. Ubo might sue. He's like, hey, hey, bad Uh, video game movies is my (laughs) trademark. You're not allowed to do that. I don't know. You're gonna trust Rotten Tomatoes? I don't trust Rotten Tomatoes with anything. Um, I mean, yeah, no yeah. consensus yet. They haven't decided because yeah. it's got a female lead. Well, because it's also it's also, bad. It's also not released in the U.S. <laughs> and I think Rotten Tomatoes tends to be more U.S. driven. Um, like it, it got released in China early. Apparently, they have been uh uh because there's not really a good place to go and rate the movie. Uh, they've been going and rating the video game and review bombing the video game because of the movie. Your movie's so bad, it's lowering the game it's yeah. based off of rating. So, so a lot oh of uh, the, 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 the Chinese viewers of, of Monster Hunter, they have been going and rating the video game poorly because of the movie. That is incredible. Did you don't know, think about that? Your movie is so bad, it's lowering the game that it doesn't have anything to do with, really. Like, it's poorly... Tied to the game. Well, and that's, that's that's sort of what somebody said, but then they said that apparently the game is putting out a skin for... Um, oh, and then give them their bad ratings then, you yeah. lazy, you cheap bastard. For a girl. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lilu. Yeah. Lilu Multipass. <laughs> So yeah, so they're they're doing a skin for her in the game, and that's that's Isn't that's, like that's, that's the link. or Bosca, Bosca, something like that. I don't know, and I don't care enough to look it up. Keep going. I'm done with her. <laughs> I, I let you get away with Resident Evil, but how dare you do this to the poor Monster Hunter crowd? Was Those people Mila, like Mia Yankov or something. Mia Djokovic. Yeah, Mia. And don't get me wrong, beautiful woman, but uh, like, oh yeah, I no. blame her husband because I I would love to see her in a good movie again. Like, but it's like Fifth Element, and it has just been downhill since then, man. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right. Last last Ooh, but not least. saucy. Yeah, yeah, since we're on Twitch right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Before we jump into this, Teddy Sprinkle says, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't get the third. Uh, yeah, oh, Blood Axe and Teddy are in there talking about the Dolphins game. Great. Uh that's what our chat has uh, turned into. <laughs> it's more activity than we normally get. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Twitch, Twitch drops the tag blind playthrough and encourages streamers to use more inclusive language. Uh, so basically, Twitch says that blind playthrough is offensive. Uh, I'm 100% sure to... that no blind person actually cares. Dang it. I mean, they couldn't read it, so. Okay, now that's offensive. (laughs) The word blind itself. I mean, like I was telling uh, telling Zeno earlier, I'm not going to go into everything we talked about, but, like, this is going to get to the point to where just the English language is going to have a lot of words removed. Because if the simple word is offensive, then soon you won't be able to. What do I describe the color of the Dice Junkie shirt? Because we can't say that word. It's, um. Dark, not white? Like, what do you start saying? Because white, you can always say white. White's oh, yeah, fine. yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw but those like, people. But, like, <laughs> like, when would it be before you can't say black or African? You can't say any word. Because it's like blind playthrough is not referring to blind people. It's referring well, now, to not well, knowing. Well, that's to be visually impaired playthrough. No, no. Uh, so, here, here, here was the thing. So, here's what they said. They said, just as we used to say the G word... <laughs> 
when something was bad it using me so bad you can't say that <laughs> using disability terms as an alternative alternate word for a negative situation or feeling is common in today's language except blind doesn't isn't just a disability term it also doesn't have any <laughs> negative connotations i've never no. heard blind used except specifically to refer to a person who can't see or in a completely different context that doesn't refer to that but I've never heard it used as an hey, insult. Hey, hey, don't say that word. I'm I am legally blind, so I can say it, but you can't. <laughs> I'm part color blind, but it's okay. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. You have to say color challenged. Oh, uh, anyway, I am legally blind, by the way. So. I can, I'm not surprised. <laughs> so anyway, uh. Anyway, so for one, the, the the okay, you know what I'm just gonna say it because it's 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 in context. So gay does not mean bad, but blind does mean <laughs> you're going in without uh, you know, like there there it is an actual yeah. There's it's no not being it's not even being word. used in a negative term. Blind playthrough like, like is not word negative was being for used in a negative term, and it was used many times negatively. I get that because it was yeah. used and not in context to represent sexual orientation, or it was used to make sexual orientation the sexual orientation well, because, how bad. But blind just yeah. means blind. That's it. I mean, gay meant happy to begin with. Like that was uh, the, the the definition. Well, let's not give them a history lesson. Uh, they don't care. Uh, but I get you, yeah. yeah. But even when it went sexual orientation, like, it was used out of context. I get it. But blind is not being used out of context here. And I've mm-hmm. never heard, like, I had a friend who actually was also, like, you legally blind, but he actually had mm-hmm. the stigma. He was an albino. He had eye stigma and really did have a lot of trouble seeing. He never had a problem with that word, though, because it's like he was legally blind. It's just what it was. It's a description of a condition. Period. Yeah. And, uh, I mean... So, I mean, here, I here is... Uh, so, blind, lacking perception, awareness, or discernment. Which is the way it's being used. Yes. <laughs> I've never even heard it used, really, as an insult that often. I've heard somebody try to claim somebody's blind as a bat. Uh, that's the only time, term, a phrase I could think of that it's used as an insult. And that's not how it's being used. Well, I've there. said without my contacts, I'm blind as a bat. Like I've said well, that before. Legally blind you know. as a bat. If you don't legally in front of it, it's, you're, you're <laughs> oh, okay. Validated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, uh, it's 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 basically it's the oversensitiveness, uh, oversensitivity that's going to eventually make it hard to have a conversation. Just like I still use the R word because it was a medical term when I was growing up. It was you know, utilized to, to, you know, often because we had a school class and it was known like officially, like the other term for it was, this is a school for the mentally, yeah, hmm. you know, uh, yeah. well, they also use the other word because it is a actual medical term. And it's like at this point, and the funny part is the people that tend to get sensitive about it aren't the people that have the condition, it's somebody nearby that just decides that they're going to get offended well, dude, I mean, on their behalf. My, my ex-wife was a, was a mental health specialist and she used the word. And then I remember, I remember her coming home and be like, Oh yeah, no, we can't, we can't say that anymore. Like it was fine yesterday. <laughs> and she's actually a mental health specialist. So she's using it in the medical yeah, meaning. Yeah. So, you know, so screw them. Blind playthrough. Yeah. Blind playthrough, blind playthrough, blind playthrough, blind playthrough. Play yeah, because, I mean, blind playthrough is not derogatory, but using other meta- uh, other words is derogatory in intent. And oh, no, no, the give intent the of blind play- playthrough is not to be derogatory or demeaning in any way, shape, fashion, or form. No, no, so yeah, no, no. just getting sensitive just for the sake of being sensitive. Yeah, um, so, so now instead of blind playthrough or going in blind – they say you it can easily be replaced by saying no spoilers playthrough or undiscovered playthrough or first playthrough. By the way, or a none combination of those is completely accurate. That's the annoying <laughs> yeah. part is because no spoilers is not a blind playthrough. If you're watching somebody play the game, you're gonna get spoilers. So that's not accurate. Undiscovered yeah, is really no spoilers confusing. playthrough could confuse people a lot. Undiscovered playthrough makes no sense. Makes I don't no get sense. It. Yeah. And first playthrough, 
is kind of maybe accurate. It may be because it's probably also your first playthrough. Mm-hmm. Like, here's the problem. That's not true because just because your first playthrough doesn't mean you haven't gotten spoilers already. Yeah. So none of those terms are accurate unless you literally use all of them. And no spoilers undiscovered first playthrough is way longer yeah. than and blind one, playthrough. I mean, to get the correct, you'd have to be first playthrough without any prior knowledge of the game I am playing. <laughs> but warn you, there may be spoilers as we are playing the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. So Yeah, that's way better than blind playthrough. And now, you know, I'm just saying it just to keep saying it to be annoying. I'm... I'm trying to get in as many blind playthroughs as I can. <laughs> Since you live it in my f bombs, I'm gonna go blind. I'm gonna say it every episode now. I'm gonna throw in there. By the way, blind playthrough. Just, just have just, you dropped an f bomb this episode? Um, Fuck maybe. Twitch. <laughs> 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 that service that we're currently using right now and is doing a live hey, stream. Hey, I think I'm on, allowed to uh, say the f bomb more often. Than, apparently, I can say that, but I can't say blind playthrough. They're probably Uh-oh. beeping blind on blind pay through, but not the F bomb. <laughs> That's the funny part. <laughs> oh. Oh, Twitch are grown ups. They'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. And if not, then, well, all right. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you are you going to be a Twitch bitch? Huh? All right, there you go. I don't have the right equipment for that. That's uh, something different. That's a Twitter. <laughs> that's a Twitch thought. Twitch bitch is a new term anyway. I'm trying to coin. Uh, call it Stevie Wonder playthrough. Teddy Sprinkles says in the chat room. I, I like that. I like because that's not that's not. Never mind. I just All right. To say blind playthrough. Uh, Blood axe. Uh, that's that's our last topic. You want to end this out with a random encounter? Yeah, I'll try. All right, man. Uh, seven. Seven. All right. That is food time. Damn it, I'm already hungry. <laughs> Have you ever or would you eat frog legs? Well, I got a good oh, story for yeah. this. Uh, Nothing like, actually, there's a place not too, not too far from where you guys live called Berries. It has really, well, yeah. when I used to live up there, it had really good frog legs. I, I will tell you, I've had frog legs once. I did not care for them, and it was at Berries. Yeah, that's where I was going with was, was berries. <laughs> um, because they 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 uh, they had a buffet, and there was a certain day that they would put frog legs on the buffet, and I was like, Ugh, "Frog legs just sound creepy. I don't know if I want them." But I'll I'll go in and do the buffet on the day they have frog legs. That's why I can try them because I'll try most food, you know, once, um, and uh, didn't didn't really care for them. But you know, not bad. They mostly tasted like chicken to me. Uh, but uh, I didn't really care for the texture. Um, and I always hate people to say that because to me they didn't taste like chicken. Like, but then I, you know, maybe it's because I'm black. They were also fried. I know what they, well, they were also like. fried. So they're usually fried. Yeah, I mean, they're fried really fried things actually. can often. It does change a lot of flavors. Yeah. We say My first experience with frog legs was hilarious because uh, I first had frog legs in my biology class. Our biology teacher had us dissect frogs, and then a week later, he brought in a fryer. Don't worry, we didn't eat the formaldehyde. Uh. But he literally then, a week later, brought in a fryer and brought in frog legs. And in our same room that we dissected the frogs, and them over there on the wall, we fried frog legs. Pretty sure that that violates some health codes, man. And um, (laughs) this guy was insane. I love it. (laughs) He taught me about Kegels. Like, this is a crazy biology teacher. Tell me about male Kegels, man. Like, yeah. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> that dude was so awesome. Craziest white guy I ever knew, but awesome guy. There's something about crazy white guys we black people love, man. When y'all are crazy, y'all are fun. Why do you think him and them still cool, man? We love the crazy white boys. All righty. So, no, no. anyway. But, like, dude, you should have seen the look on, her, on the girls in the class face because, like, only me and a few of the boys ate it. But just the look at her face as we – I posed next to the dang – Display. I was like, "Hey, I, I like with the frogs on the wall mm-hmm. behind me, like, uh, and it tasted like frog to me. Like, like I was like, this does not taste like chicken. This tastes like something else. I mean, it tastes kind of, but it was different, man. Yeah, once you once you season it up good and all that stuff, I couldn't tell the difference. Dude, we only had a little like. I mean, we basically yeah. it was almost like a Bunsen burner. In fact, gotcha. it might have been a Bunsen burner. He was really crazy. <laughs> we might have cooked these on a Bunsen burner, like in a petri dish. This yeah. guy was awesome. All righty." 
Um, okay, I think that I think that's going to wrap us up for this uh, this week's episode. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed. As always, you can check us out every Sunday on Twitch at three thirty until they ban us Central Central Standard Time. <laughs> um, Line play through. Uh, all right, <laughs> be sure to check us out on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook. YouTube, all that good stuff. You can go to DutchJunkers.com where links to everywhere we can be found online um, are listed. You can uh, check us out on our Discord server. The link should down, be down in the description on YouTube, or you can go to our Facebook page, and it is pinned at the top of our Facebook page. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell on YouTube to get... More videos from Dice Junkies as we do uh, game videos and reviews and stuff like that. Especially look on YouTube because I'm pretty sure Twitch is through with my ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twitch me. Yeah. If you don't watch us on YouTube and you just watch us on Twitch, you should probably go over to YouTube and subscribe just in case. Because uh, you're probably not. Because you probably won't find this on Twitch. You're probably yeah. right now on YouTube or the podcast. <laughs> Listen to this and going. Why didn't Actually, it come out on Twitch? If they block the video, you might not be able to rip it from Twitch anyway. <laughs> Well, I record it uh, locally, so... Yeah, we're not rookies, okay. man. Yeah. We know what we also, say. on YouTube, if we were adding additional content not on Twitch, so definitely make sure you go there, yeah. like, subscribe, and uh, definitely give us some thumbs up on some of our, our, our really fun uh, gameplay videos. You know what? I'm going to pull go. it out like this. YouTube's going to let us post our video. <laughs> Twitch, you're going to let YouTube be cooler than you, man. Huh? I thought you were cool, Twitch. Oh. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, we hope you enjoy.